सो गाइज आई हैव कम टू स्पेंड दी आफ्टरनून एट द ताज महल आई वॉज ह्योर इन द मॉर्निंग बट आई वॉज लिटरली ह्योर फॉर लाइक वन आवर सो आई कूड इंट रियली लाइक वॉक अराउंड बिकॉज इट वॉज प्योरली अ शूट एंड लाइक इट वॉज योर टू शूट आई वॉज योर टू शूट कॉन्टेंट एंड द शूज वर रियली अनकम्फर्टेबल बट फर्स्ट बिफोर आई गो ऑन विद दिस व्लॉग आई वॉन्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन बिकॉज दैट्स द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग यू नीड टू बी सब्सक्राइब टू माई वीडियोज एंड आई एम पोस्टिंग वेरी रेग्युलरली लाइक स्टफ ऑन ट्रेवल माई लाइफ इन इंडिया डेली ब्लॉग्स ग्रूमिंग फैशन एंड एवरी थिंग सो आई लव टू हेयर फ्रॉम यू good morning guys i am frozen because it is so cold i have woken up at 5 in the morning to get dressed like this but the idea is to bring you this view because i am doing sunrise at the taj mahal this is probably my third or fourth visit here i've never come here this early i'm waiting for banu because we are going to shoot some content and reels later um so i'm really excited about today okay there seems to be some security rushing there all in all it's very well managed guys if you come here i would recommend buying a ticket online it literally takes 2 minutes to do you need to just enter your date and all that and it's really easy you pay it's like 45 rupees for indian citizens i'm not really sure how much it is for international citizens and you just buy and you enter there's a very quick security check i was literally in within 10 minutes in the meanwhile i found myself this little corner spot away from all the tourists so as you can see the tourists are on that famous marble platform right there but um, i am in the corner here where no one's going to bother me and i'm really having a good time anyway just to give you a brief pointers on how you can get here first of all i'll tell you that the best time to come here to the taj mahal right now is early in the morning which means you need to leave your hotel at like 5:30 and be here by 6 o'clock when they open it up for sunrise and here you'll see only people with like like professionals or like bloggers or like wedding like pre wedding shoots and all happening that kind of like crowd and not the main tourist rush as you can see right now it's 3 in the afternoon it's really packed another recommendation for you to do is to buy your ticket online instead of standing here at the queue so the 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 indian government website where you can buy tickets for the taj mahal or the agra fort of atipur sikri it's all just one website it's really quick you just enter in your details you put in your uh, like one your driver's license number or your aadhar card number and you just pay on the spot using whatever so it's like the interface is really quick and nice so i uh, was pleasantly surprised i bought my tickets online definitely recommend that you do that so when you get here then depends on which gate your driver brings you to uh your your cars are not really allowed to access all the way to the ticket gate so you get off your car and then you get into this little like this electric vehicle or like a kind of uh, it's kind of a golf buggy which costs about 20 rupees that's the indian government's golf buggy that they have put here the uttar pradesh tourism and it brings you right to the entrance of taj mahal where you just show the ticket on your phone that you've bought online and you walk right so guys i've been to the taj mahal quite a few times but you know what an architecture buff i am so i love just coming here and looking at all these little design elements i'm going to show some of the stuff that i really starting with the floor so we all know how much the moguls they were super super like particular about geometry they loved they were very passionate about geometry so look at these tiles i mean these are dual colored but look at these for instance these are the same colored but just look how beautifully geometric there are they are this is nice so i'm standing right below the taj right now one more element of like mughal design that we are quite familiar with is the the la is the marble lattice work look at this little window i should actually look into see what it faces nothing so guys i'm not sure how much you can see but it's setting and the colors are different so guys i spent the last 2 hours i found little corner right in that little corner i sat there and i just like 
just chilled out. Now let me now let me give you a bit of a explanation about this red building behind me that you're wondering. So you can see the white Taj Mahal and the red building behind me. On either side of the Taj, there are these two red buildings. So the idea was to have this very nice symmetry, aesthetic symmetry, symmetry between red and white on either side. So they built it. The other side, which I shot in front of today, is the mosque, which is still used. It's really beautiful. And this is what used to be called a rest house or a guest house. Uh, where people could rest back in the Mughal days. Spending the afternoon at the Taj Mahal complex is so much fun. As I explained to you, there's a red building which is the mosque, the white Taj Mahal and the red building on the other side which is the guest house forming a perfect aesthetic symmetry. These buildings are just gorgeous. I'm not going to talk about the history and everything because all of you know the history. It's just basically giving you a glimpse of the Taj Mahal through my perspective and my eyes. And this is basically what I've enjoyed doing. It is super cold, by the way, today. And I'm wearing like four layers. I'm wearing like two thermals and a sweater and this puffer jacket. And I'm still completely frozen. Guys, I'm going to show you this little diagram on the floor which is engraved in like some black stone or something. This is an exact dimension replica of the little metallic thing that crowns the top of the Taj Mahal. Interesting fact. Now I'm headed to the other side to see the sunset. So now I'm behind the main monument as you can see that's the view of the Yamuna. Yesterday uh, I vlogged about that little chhatri, that little pavilion there that I was that I showed you and I went and got some photographs from there. But uh, this is a nice view right here and uh, that's the Mehta Bagh across the river. The unfinished project that's the Yamuna. So with that I've come to the end of my video and I'd love to hear from you so don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Lots of love from Agra the Taj Mahal. I've enjoyed bringing this content to you. I hope you're enjoying watching the videos. Some small tips on travelling to Agra. I would love to spend more time here and be able to bring you much more content. But for now, see you soon.